Hey everyone, I'm Cole Novak. I'm here today again with my friend Julian Colazos. Julian, how are you? What's up? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, good today. Pretty good day. <laughs> we're, we're here today <laughs> talking about piano, specifically uh, improv, flow, spontaneous, vamping. Are there any other uh, words for what we're talking about today? Knowing what you didn't know but you still know. Knowing what you don't know, but you still know. Yeah. I love it so much. So <laughs> talking about improv and flow today, but first, Julian, tell me, how did you get into playing piano in church? I know that you've spent a lot of time like writing and producing music as well, so tell me a little about that. Well, I'm a, I'm a pastor's kid. I'm the oldest one, yes. so you have to play something, right? You have to. <laughs> I love drums, I love bass, and then one morning, Sunday morning, my dad just asked me, like, you play piano, right? I'm like, no, I don't. But Dad, you know me, right? <laughs> said, Great. So you're playing piano today, and from there, and I'm just started playing That's piano. That's amazing. So, and uh, I moved to Dallas 2001. Yeah. And it feels like a long time ago. It is a long time it ago. It is a long time ago. Uh, now. And then. Uh, I came to Christ for Nations. Yeah. Uh, and then that's where I started, like, n knowing more about the spontaneous music. Yeah. The worship side of music. I didn't know that. Yeah. Even I was playing at church, I didn't know that part. Yeah. Um, the flowing in the spirit, all those type of things. And then I, I worked with Marco Barrientos for yes, Marco. 10 years. Yeah. And that's his forte. Yes. Like, um, the the new song. It, it, he's just a new song so to the Lord. good, yep. dude. And so he he can take off three four hours just Man. in one song, just flowing in the spirit, back and forth. So it just that's how we started experimenting more. Yeah. Uh, and I met um, Klaus Kuhn, yes. great piano player, it's and he, uh, that's his forte. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can go off from one chord and he yeah, can just man. flow for 45 minutes an yeah. hour. I'm like, how do you do that? So yeah. that's kind of the background of how I kind of you know tippy toes into yes. the whole flow. More, yeah. Flow is well, I love that so much because it, it is something that you, um, it's helpful to have people, guides that have gone there before because yeah. that's that's the beautiful thing about playing together, like being in community and in church is that you have people that that might be their strength and they, hey, yeah. come on, yeah. come on, let's, let's go here together for a bit. And then in that place, you get introduced to flow and spontaneity and then you kind of learn things about yourself out of that, which is awesome. Yeah, I remember the first time I produced an album for Marco. Yeah. It was so bad, but it was it was great. Yeah. But at the same time, at the end of the day, he's just like, you don't sound like Klaus. And that was just like, mm. a, you know, like a big punch in my face. Yes. I'm like, what the, I've been working so hard. But that, I remember that night, I just grabbed all, this, all the albums that Klaus played yeah. on, and I just went home and just listened. Yeah. Listen and listen. I'm like, Oh, this is how he plays this chord. This is how he does his voicings. And yeah. I learned so much just from listening to what he was doing. So, yeah. That's amazing. I, I feel like that's so helpful. When we're talking about improv, flow, spontaneous worship, it can feel like it's a, a big, scary, unknown mm -hmm. thing. But when you have people that are there to, to help you and you kind of steep yourself, yep. you surround yourself with that experience and you, you kind of learn. So for you, how would you define uh, or describe what we're talking about. We talk about spontaneous worship or flowing into and out of songs. What are we talking about? Well, to me, it's just uh, learning how to read the room. Mm. And uh, with that, I think it first starts with God. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want this weekend? Yeah. Not even the weekend. What do you want for this service? Yeah. Sometimes we just kind of prepare so much. It's like, hey, I have my... Perfect set. These are my perfect, set. my perfect patches. My sounds yep. and my pianos are so good, set. But uh, like, God, what do you want, Holy Spirit? What yeah. do you want? Even if I, if I prepare my my whole piano lines, I'm I learning everything. And the Holy Spirit sometimes is like, just play the right hand. And I remember one one Whoa. weekend I was playing. And I'm so proud of my left hand. Yeah. I know a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you kind you you kind of know how to fake it. Yeah. So it's not covering the bass. Yeah. The tones and stuff like that. But one one service, I was just playing, and it was a part that I just loved the low end on the piano, and the Holy Spirit just like, dude, just raise your left hand. And I'm like, but it's just no. But and it's my for, thing. Yeah, but for me, that was the moment I just went so simple, and I just did this, and for me, that was a good flow moment. Wow. Because more than just leading with an instrument, we're leading this the, the way we posture ourselves. And sometimes, you know. I don't know, maybe someone in the congregation needed to see that. And yeah, like, man. Why is he raising these hands right now? It's like, if he can, I can too. So 
sometimes we wait until the moment is like, oh, this is when I have to flow. No, it can no. be in someone, and you're not playing a piano in someone, the whole interest, 30 seconds, and you're just standing there like, it's not my part. Yeah. I don't play right here. Yeah. And instead of just, hey, just if it's a joyful song, smile. Yeah. You just be part of the song. And I think those are part of when we're flowing. Yeah. And we jump in in the same room with the congregation. Instead of just kind of isolating ourselves, just waiting for my moment of my piano line. Yeah. Hey, guys, listen to this. No. From the beginning, just be engaged with the yeah. congregation, with the band. Um, <laughs> which I kind of do when I'm in MD. Yes, exactly. Like, Here we go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yes. And even that kind of creates a moment of like, yes, we're doing these two yeah. things. So. Well, I love that because it's it's not about manufacturing a moment. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to make something happen. Like even that, I love that story so much because it brings flow to a much more like simple, intimate place of flow is you listening to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And for you in that moment, it just meant lifting up your left hand that you felt so proud of and excited, but God's like, no, what if you use that just to worship me actually? <laughs> and I love that like flow turns into just all of us being present in the moment. It's all of us, how, how are we fully engaged with what God is doing right now? I think that's amazing. So talking about reading the room, you said it's about uh, engaging with God. Like what else are you being sensitive to in the room? Sometimes, because um, when we play, we prophesy. Yeah. Every every second of our days, we yeah. prophesy. Not only when we're playing on platform. Yeah. But sometimes it's just like, you just, instead of looking down to the piano the whole time, just looking up. Mm. And as simple as that, just kind of, uh, searching the room for yeah. like God, tell me who I need to prophesy over. Yeah, and then His Holy Spirit will show you that person right there, and then without you knowing, you start playing something. It's like that's not this song, but it kind of yeah. sounds good, and then you realize that that's the Holy Spirit speaking through your instrument. Yeah, or whatever you're singing, even if, even if you don't have a microphone, you just prophesying over that person, over that family. Yeah, and that ch changes the whole moment. That just like becomes more than a song. Yeah, and becomes way bigger than myself, yeah. which I love. Pastor Roberts uh, preaching about in his presence, because mm -hmm. he says, we re when we go into his presence, we realize how big he is, how small we are. Yeah, but at the same time, how good he is. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? If you're in the presence, if we're flowing, let's do that. Let's, yes. I'm, whatever you want me to do. If yeah. you want me to play, I'll play. Yeah. If you want me to follow, I'll follow. Yeah. So I think that, that would be a good point to, to start a service. Yeah. I love that so much. So talking a little bit more practically about flow, uh, to me, there's kind of like two primary areas where you would flow. It's either at the end of a song, as you're transitioning out of that moment into another moment, or in the middle of a song where you might make a specific change or uh, cut a bridge, double a bridge, something like that. So talking specifically about transitioning into or out of flow moments, how do you approach that? Well, we have to end on the four, yeah, right? Always, <laughs> always on the four. <laughs> if we don't end on the four, there's no way we can flow. Uh, but just actually figuring out which chord you're gonna end in, yeah. it just, it helps so much. Yeah. So if you're in A, and you're gonna go to G. Yeah. And you end in that one, and then you go to G, you're kind of like, uh, That bummer, flat right? seven. <laughs> <laughs> but again, if you end in, in A, and you end in the four, that's my five, yeah. my fifth, from mm -hmm. G now. So it's more, it's a little bit natural for me, uh, and maybe you can tell the, the keys player, hey, you take that transition, so you can end in the open chord on D, so you open like, yeah. So it's A, D, A. Yeah. And that's related to A, yeah. D, and G. So now it doesn't sound like a hard stop. Yeah. And stop and start again. It's just more like a moment. And um, make sure you give enough time for those moments to be sensitive to a room. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes we can, as an MD, we can trigger the next one so quick. Ready ready to get going. <laughs> Which that, I think that's one of the things that what I do, Ableton, the way I do it, you can build it just to make sure you hit the 19 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you have, and you just one start and you just roll it. Yeah. But then you don't have the, those open moments. Yeah. Like sometimes two, three seconds. 
is what the room needed. Just a little breath. Yeah, and you, you look up in the congregation, it just pushed straight into their faces just like that. Yes. You're not gonna trigger the click right there because he's just like, dude, no! Because God's saying, I'm doing something. Yeah, and sometimes we're like, well, you're gonna flow, you're gonna need 45 minutes. No, sometimes you need an extra second just to inhale. We, we talk about that yes. here at Gateway, the, the inhale moment. Yes. We all come so tired, so many questions, and so many rough moments that we're going in our personal life. And that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, even in my personal life, just getting through weekends, sometimes yeah. it's hard. It just, and I just need that moment. Like, yeah. easy like, <sighs> Yeah. I'm good, let's yes. go. So, yeah. Man, I love that because at, at Gateway, we're a very big church. We have a lot of services and there is a, a value placed on the amount of time we spend in our services, but even in a shorter worship set, there is so much intention for the music director and the worship leader to create space to actively pursue that inhale moment and to know that uh, for whoever's watching, whatever your service times look like, there is enough space for God to move. There's enough space. And if we uh, prepare well for how to flow, it's amazing what God can do in those moments. I would say the more time you have, the more preparation you will need. Yes. So if you if you yeah. have twenty minutes to flow, man, you better read your yes. Bible that <laughs> week because you're gonna have, you're gonna need a lot of content. Because when we talk about flowing in the spirit, it's not what you feel. It's not yeah. how do you came into a room. It's you gotta talk about the scripture. Yeah. And there's nothing more powerful in those moments than when you just go, God, you're so good. Yes. You're being faithful to me. The way you play, the way you sing, it changes. Yeah. And it might be the same notes, but. Uh, uh, one of my favorite verses is the heart regulates the hands. Yes. Oh, and, uh, man. But it's right there. Yes. So, but uh, it just reminds me that it's not, it's not how can I play these notes? How can I play this melody? It's just mm -hmm. the, the, the why behind it. Yeah, where is it coming from? It's coming from the heart because yeah. you're so good. And uh, just going back to the story when I yeah. started with yeah. Klaus and Marco, they can talk about the Bible forever. Yeah. I'm like, how do you flow so much? Well. They have the scripture they're, in their They're hearts. full of it. it just, oh, they man. have it so much. So it's easier for them just to talk about a flow and so uh, sing, sing a new song yeah. from the verse they just read. So it has to be in our hearts. Yeah. It, we can have a, a flow moment if we don't have those flow moments in the secret. Yeah. If we don't take time in our days to say, God, I just, I'm, just here, I'm just here for you. I That's don't want so anything good. else. It just Maybe at home, just sitting on the piano and just without any agenda. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm gonna write a song, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna prepare for the weekend. No, make sure we kind of have those ex different, I made those separations, those yes. lines really clear. I'm preparing for the service. And this time it's just for you. Yeah. It's a different time. I'm, I'm not doing Ableton, I'm not doing anything else. I'm yes. just spending time with you in your word, listening to your voice. Because sometimes those moments, you don't know, but he's preparing you for the flow yeah. moment that will happen later in the day. So That's so good, man. Okay, so talking about uh, transitioning out of songs or like through transition moments, uh, in the middle of a song, one of my favorite things about Julian as a music director, so if we're playing a service and I'm playing guitar, we'll hit a, maybe a repeat, a repeat bridge or something, and Julian will just call different chords than are in the chord chart for that moment. And I know for me, it does something, but so tell me about how do you uh, make those choices? What, like when you're thinking, okay, let's do something different here. What's going on in your mind? Like, how are you intentionally leading through those times? Okay, so I think I would just find uh, chords that will go along with each other pretty well. Mm -hmm. And normally it's only changing the bass note a yeah. lot. Because if, uh, if we play in the one, and then yeah. I call a two suspend the chord, that would change when you're playing an electric. Harmonies, it's like, everything oh, are out the window. Yeah. yeah. So if if we're doing one, yeah. but then we're gonna repeat that bridge, maybe I could do one over three. Yeah. I'm just playing the same thing on my right hand and just changing the bass. Or I can just, if I want a little bit more, that one over three is open. Yeah. Can I get you like, yeah. Yes. And then maybe uh, instead of the one, the six minor. Yep. The six always kind of calls for like, Let's go. Yes, I mean, that's exactly. Like, that's <laughs> like the charge. <laughs> and so and and sometimes that would happen. Like even what a beautiful name. Yeah. Right? Da, 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 da. I mean eight. Da, da, yeah. Da, 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 six over four over six. Da, da, yes. Da, da, da. So just small changes like that. It's yeah. just the bass, but even the the way the melody of the song hits. Yeah. It just kind of like, yes, heavens are roaring. Yes. Like, ah! 
So I love that. I, I love like you're not just making that change to do something cool, but there's intention in it because you're trying to create interest in a way that kind of pulls people out. Like, oh, that's mm -hmm. different. And so even with instrumentalists as an MD, um, when you pick those moments, what are you trying to do for the band? Like as you're leading, when you throw in, uh, here, here's a different chord. What are you trying to accomplish with the band? Man, I, I want us to stay together. Yeah. And just go to that moment all together. If I just do it just, um, just for my own sake on the piano, yeah. it doesn't make the purpose. Like, again, it goes back to just myself. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's me. You heard that? It was so good. <laughs> oh, cool. But instead of just making it bigger, yeah. and, uh, and then no one will know, like, oh, I didn't hear the piano in that part. Great. That's, that's the point, right? Yeah. So maybe that would trigger something in the drummer, too. Because if you yes. play the six minor, that kind of triggers that maybe a build or toms or the drum feel, they kind of just goes to that. So I will know yeah. my co, whoever is playing bass. Yeah. Hey, so, so get ready. We're going to go to the six. So we're gonna, we do that. The drummer, everyone knows, even the worship leader is like, oh, we're going something, there? Something's happening. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So, uh, it just to stay present in that moment and just help the congregation too. Sometimes you yeah. see the congregation, some services just more mm. like <laughs> that nine a.m. Dude, that nine a.m. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more passive. They just they just need that coffee, right? Yeah. Uh, and those moments help them to just like, oh, oh, cool, yeah, yeah. We, I'm gonna go there with you guys. Yes. Let's go. That's so. so good. Okay, so talking about the difference between leading through a spontaneous or a flow moment versus being on the team and somebody else is leading through it, how do you kind of make choices differently based on if you're the MD and you're calling chords or if someone else is, how do you change what you're doing to kind of fit the moment? Oh, I, I prefer to do those moments without MDing. Because one of the rules, not rule, but one of the things that if you're leading as an MD, those moments, you have to keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. And you have to be on the lookout for the worship leader because he will just kind of do this with acoustic. Yes. And you know, you have to be, you need to see those things. Yeah. Or the congregation. If I'm not MDing, I could just play simple. Yeah. And just close my eyes and wait for the moment. Yeah. You know? uh, stay engaged, even though I'm just sustaining one chord. Yeah. And it's the uh, nine or two, five and nine again. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. I can just kind of roll. If I'm playing keys, I just roll, make it a little bit darker. Yeah. So it's not so bright. And just stay in the moment. And that, I use my sustain pedal if I'm playing yeah. keys. I can just go like this forever, dude. Yes. Because that sounds sustains. And uh, I can be part of the congregation at that moment. Yeah. Even if I'm in a platform, in those moments, we can make that, that line disappear from like, yes. that's the worship team. I don't have to do that. But when they see us just worshiping, even when you just go on your knees, you know, if you play an acoustic, you just get on your knees. People, that makes the whole moment a, a, a pure moment. Yeah. I think that's the word. Yeah. That we're not performing, and they like that kind of opens their eyes too. Like, oh, they don't, they don't know what they're doing. If they don't know, I can go there with them. Yeah. So simple. Uh, what I'll use a lot is uh, my nines. Yeah. My sauce, which is the the, the fourth. Or yeah. the fifth. Because all those three notes, they just keep it open. So if I'm playing one, one, five, one, or nine, five, nine. Yeah. Or the fourth. I don't have to do That's a lot. It's all on the same chord. It's the same chord. It's just creating movement and kind of a little bit of tension, mm -hmm. a little bit of interest, but you're also not what I love about what you just said, like where it it kind of flips around the the assumption of oh, these are the people up on the stage, mm -hmm. they're leading the worship, but you're still engaged, but you step back in a way that allows the congregation to then become like, oh, I, I can just sing something to the Lord now. They become part of that worship leading mystery that's happening in that space where we're all just meeting with God. I think it's so beautiful. And sometimes that's when not just you or the worship leader feel like, I need to go there. I remember one conference we were leading, and it was a big moment and we felt like it was with Sacro. He yeah. was leading. And I was like, we need to go there. But we, if we do that, we're going to go over at least three or four minutes. But the room uh -oh. was so, like, we were just waiting. Yeah. But the room was so ready. Uh, so in my talk back, I'm like, I asked the, the permission, hey, can we flow a little bit longer? 
And when we just looked down, the first row, Pastor Robert, Pastor Thomas, yeah. everyone was on yes. their knees. So they said, let me ask. I'm like, it's like give me one second. They asked, said, yeah, go for it. And then we just went into a moment. Yeah. Um, so it's not what you feel, but it has to be in the room too. And when yes. the Holy Spirit is in the room, everyone will say yes. Yes. And sometimes, like, again, going back to that moment, like pausing. It's like, is it, is it me? Man. Am I venting of how I feel today? Like, I need to say I would, it? I would never, I'd never do that. I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the Holy Spirit that just taking us to a deeper place or just taking an extra moment just to, to go deeper into his presence? So, yeah. And the whole room would say, hey, yes, starting with your authority, yes. submitting to, you know you have a clock. Yes. You know you have 20 minutes. Yeah. And you 17 minutes already. And honoring that. Yeah. yeah. Honoring that, knowing that, hey, yeah, go for it. Yes. So well, I love that, you know, the Apostle Paul talking about things should be done decently and in order, mm -hmm. but that's not stifling the Holy Spirit. That's everybody coming together and being in unity. Like, yeah, we, we sense this is happening and we're going to go for it. I yeah. think that's amazing. Julian, you're amazing. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Uh, as we close... What would be an encouragement that you have for somebody, maybe they feel overwhelmed at the idea of spontaneity and flow, or maybe they're um, well-versed at it, but what would be your encouragement to somebody stepping, stepping into those waters? Man, I think it starts in the, in the private place. I think it starts just spending time with your instrument, like knowing how can you work out from a weird you know, transition moment, yeah. like, oh, I can play. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, I can do that in the weekend. Yeah. At the same time, spending time with the Lord when you do it, when, when you are, while you're playing your instrument. Yeah. And like, just listen to his voice. Yeah. And sometimes you will hear him say, I love you. How do you translate that into music? How do you translate, God is telling me he loves me. It's like, how do I play that? You know, I, I oh, wouldn't play that. Beautiful. No, it just, I don't know. I love you. I love you too, God. Man, that's and so it becomes beautiful. way less from my piano. Yeah. And I play less notes, but those notes are way more significant for me. So I would say, hey, spend more time with the Lord, His presence, your instrument, for sure. The more we practice, the more the Lord can use. Yeah. It's like, oh, He has that in His pocket. Yeah. Yes. Let's go there. So uh, I think it's a 50 50. And just be real. You know, yeah. Be real with the Lord. Yeah. And, I had it on my notes, and I think I have to say, I don't know, maybe maybe you cut it later, that's fine. <laughs> but I resolve, resolve your victories and your frustrations before wow. you get to the place. Wow. Because sometimes we worshiping or we playing or flowing out of what I did this week or what I missed this week. Wow. I'm so sorry, God. I didn't resolve do your I... victories and your frustrations before bringing them into that place. Just leave it, yeah. Just yeah. bring it to his feet and just say, Lord, everything is yours. That's and, so good. And uh, I think that that would create a pure heart and it would just show as a result and of uh, just a pure worship. That's so beautiful. Julian, I love you, man. Thank you so I you much. Too, uh, I hope this was helpful for you. I encourage you to develop these deep wells of worship with God. And uh, we'll see you next time.